don't go all cool now because the camera's on you. <laughs> Morning, y'all. From the Azores, it's the last day of playing today and the weather's looking better. Morning, Wales. A little breakfast, I think. That glass, mate. It's kind of glass breakfast dreams are made of, isn't it? Hotels should learn from this. Yeah, they should. This it? is a message for all yeah. hotels. That is a glass. That's an orange juice glass. Correct. That is. This is incorrect. Yeah. <laughs> Point at the correct one, just so we're really clear. Correct. Correct. <laughs> Right, today's swing starts off. What we're going to look at is posture. Um, stance, really, really big reach for the ball. So lots of space between arms and legs here. Um, as he takes the club back, we see the club pointing a little bit right at the top, which is never a huge problem, but that's due to his trail shoulder not really being rotated enough, which we could look at, but we can't really go there until we think about how much he's kind of reaching out for this ball, then swinging left and falling forward all built around this kind of reaching posture, which is what we're gonna try and tackle today. Let's talk about posture and your reaching for the ball. So common pattern, I see this with students, and with drivers, really common. So big, big reach here, then we see the movement where you don't really rotate this elbow, uh, this shoulder, but we'll, we'll talk about that today. We're gonna to talk about this stretch. That's why we see this angle at the top. And then we see the big reach out for the ball as the club comes left, you almost falling in. Now when you change posture with people like this and how far away they feel from the ball, they hate it, they just hate it. And they strike all over the face. But unless you're already hitting really good shots, it's kind of no option. You can't be standing out here and complaining of club path and balance issues. So simple idea for you, literally I want your arms to hang down from your shoulders. So before you hit, just to take your posture, let your arms hang down and try and put the club in there. It feel too close, it feel very cramped but you just gotta get used to striking the ball from there. Your strike pattern will change, so it won't, you, it's not a kind of fix that you change and you hit it better instantly. It's the kind of change you make and then you start hitting some funny strikes. But this is one where I like people to go to the range and actually just go and hit some shots of it and find a strike. Arms hanging down from your shoulders, it's gonna help us get some control. The club bath, a little bit of balance, which in turn will fix strike or help strike in the long run. Right, we're on the course, music clock. There's three nines here at, what's it called, Rory? Battaglia. That's what I thought. <laughs> um, and this is our last nine that we've played. So you're gonna get three sets of nine whole matches. This is the finale today. Coach is very warmy uppy over there. Not normally that warmy uppy, are you, coach? Hey, that's your fourth, and you've had a stretch. Don't go all cool now, because the camera's on you. Right, another nine hole done. Very good fun. Course was fantastic actually. You'll enjoy seeing it in the video. Time to head back to the new hotel. Right, second drill which works quite well. I'm in the hotel, so you can do this on the obviously indoors as well. So I'm up against the edge of this wall. You like to be stretching, then moving over the other side of the wall, coming back almost at the corner of the wall. Often throwing path out to in for players and certainly knocking them off balance as well. So new posture, arms hanging down from your shoulders more rather than this big reach. I'm lining my arms as well as I can from this kind of angle up with the edge of the wall here. And I'm gonna feel like I'm just moving into this side of the wall, not hitting the corner. So I'm moving almost along the wall. I feel my hips kind of move up and bump into the wall as well. And I also feel on the ground how my feet are pushing onto the toes as I do this. So I'm trying to think more about where my arms are hanging. Then I'm thinking about where my arms are swinging in relationship to hanging, so not hitting the corner wall, hitting the end of it. While at the same time, I'm also thinking about how my feet are pushing on the ground. This is why this is better done indoors. Because thinking this many thoughts on a range would make it hard to hit shots. So arms hanging down from your shoulders, just thinking about little half swings, you don't need a club, trying to lay into the front part of this wall rather than this push out and into the corner, while at the same time feeling your pressure on your feet, moving kind of into that wall as well. This really helps people give them the idea of pushing their hands on a very different path, which then in turn, hopefully gets the club on a better path.
Good night, everybody. Was a good, good night. night. Go ahead, John Boy. <laughs> it's all done, Ray. That was pretty amazing, wasn't it? What a place. Um, and we did lots of fun stuff. That's lots just... of fun stuff to be done, which we didn't get to do either. So. I'm, I'm going to bed now. <laughs> See you in the morning. Laters. <laughs>